Buffalo Soldier. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, the Herder of Buffalo, coming at you today with some gameplay. But the gameplay is not important today. What is important is the commentary. And I want to be talking to you guys about spiders. And you know, I depending on how this video goes down, I'm going to be doing this quite a bit. I'm going to be talking about spiders, say, maybe every Wednesday. Perhaps once or twice a week or something, depending on how it goes down. But um, yeah, today I'm going to be talking about the Black Widow. But first of all, I want to talk to you guys about how my fear of spiders came about. And those of you who know me will know that I'm scared shitless of spiders. If I see a spider, I'll just go run camp in a corner somewhere because I don't want to be anywhere near these guys. And I'm sure they don't want to be anywhere near me, but... You know, I'm more scared of them than they probably are of me. That's the fact. That is the bare fact. But, um, yeah, where, when when, and where did I start my fear of spiders? Apparently, so my mother tells me, I was five years old. I was at my playgroup. And you know when someone runs at you with their hands together, as if they've got something in it that's going to jump out at you? Apparently, some guy did this to me. I don't know what his name was. Mr. McBastard or something like that. But, um, yeah, he had his hands glassed together. And he kept shoving it in my face. And, you know, your natural reaction is to jump backwards. And it kept making me jump. And eventually he opened his hands and threw this spider at me. And, you know, from that moment on, I've... Well, so I've been told. Apparently this is where it came about. But since then, I've been scared shitless of spiders. So, you know, that's where my fear came about. And, you know, with fear sometimes comes fascination. And, you know, I'm fascinated by these things as much as I despise them. They are so interesting, and, you know, especially the Black Widow, that's one of my favourites, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have probably heard of this Black Widow spider before, but if you haven't, I'm going to be talking about it today, just to give you guys a little bit more knowledge about it, and tell you some of the facts, and what sort of things this, this guy, girl, should, well, actually, this girl can do. And, you know, we know the Black Widow is one of the most deadly spiders on Earth, and the name Black Widow comes from the fact that once the females mate with the males, the female eats the male. And, you know, this is somewhat ironic, because you always expect the male character to be the most dominant, but in this case, it it's not true. The female is about two times bigger than the male Black Widow, so, you know, the female has a lot more power, and, you know, they're the ones you should be scared of. These are the ones that are going to bite you, and these are the ones that are going to poison you, because, believe it or not, the male Black Widows are not actually venomous and if these guys bite you it's not as much of a problem as if the females bite you if the females bite you you're in for some severe pain and you know the bite of a black female black widow can induce a severe abdominal muscle spasm which you know you can define this as a black widow bite by the two fang prints that will be within the effect infected area so you know, if you get bitten by one of these guys, don't hang around, don't wait for the grass to grow. you got to get to a doctor, and you've got to get there fast. And, you know, they will give you anti-venom, and, you know, you only find these spiders in North America primarily. Um, I think you might get them in Australia, I'm not too sure. Please correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I don't, I'm not an expert on Black Widows, so any more information you guys know, or anything that I say wrong, please let me know, because, you know, I'm, I'm happy to re take responsibility for incorrect information but you know you need to take yourself to the doctor and you know they say that if you actually take the spider with you that has bitten you it helps I'm not sure what they do whether or not they extract some sort of you know venom from the spider in order to make you immune to the bites or something I'm not too sure that's something I would like to find out and if any of you guys have come into contact with these spiders at any time in your life I want to know the stories I want to know what's been going on if you've been if you've accidentally put your hand in a spider's web trying to clear the dust and you've been bitten, if your hand's fallen off, or, you know, your legs, you haven't got a leg anymore because you got bit by a spider. I want to know your stories, guys. And, you know, it isn't funny. There's people out there who, you know, their lives have been ruined by this, these spiders. And as much as they're fascinating creatures, they're pests. Uh, they're things we don't really want to come into contact with. But, unfortunately, the Black Widow tends to, you know, habituate itself in and around humans. It's mainly found in urban areas, you know, around rubbish, in by rocks. And, you know, these guys can be found pretty much anywhere in the sa in the southern states of North America. And, you know, you don't want to come into contact with one of these guys, but unfortunately, you do. And one thing that they do have in America, I, I may be wrong with this, Americans, please, please tell me if I am wrong, but outdoor toilets are something that's quite popular. And, you know, these black widows, they tend to set up their webs 
underneath these toilets. And, you know, when you're taking a shit, you're not going to be thinking there's a black widow ready to bite your ass underneath you. Because, you know, it's not what you expect to happen. And, you know, that is often where some of these bites are taken. And that is in outdoor toilets because, you know, these, these black widows think it's their home. And that's where they set up shop. And there's not really a lot you can do about it because, you know, they're going to come for you. And there's not too much you can do about it. But, um, anyway, why do I find these spiders particularly scary? Just wrapping up now. I pretty, I'm pretty sure it's the oval shape of the abdomen. It's, it's so defined, you know, every single Black Widow. It's almost a perfect oval, and the fact these guys are so definitive, it scares me. <laughs> How can any creature be so special in the way it's created? I, I really don't know. But, um, anyway, guys, this video is coming to an end. I hope you guys know a bit more about the Black Widow now than you did before. And, you know, if this sort of thing isn't, isn't for you um, you don't have to watch the videos but if you did like it hit the like button and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button as well but anyway guys um, plenty more of this to come comment like rate it whatever I don't really care but anyway guys hope you're having a great week peace